next Wednesday. Many people feel that like, you know, Wednesday's got like a negative connotation, you know, hump day kind of thing. It's a positive one here on the Morning Blend because that means Dr. Lori is back. It is always a treat to have her in. Of course, antiques appraiser extraordinaire, YouTube sensation. I mean, Lori, I don't even know where to begin with all of your credentials, but we're happy you're on the show today. How are you? I'm happy to be here. And of course, you can check out all information at drlorev.com about me. But you know, I like hump day because we're getting to the second part of the week and the second part of the week brings us closer to, of course, the weekend. So it's all good. I like that. I like yeah. looking at it that way. And Dr. Laura, I want to tell you something as we get ready to throw in the next, uh, our first item today, which we're going to play dumpster or no dumpster. We love when you play with us at home. Is this item above $50 or below $50? Hence the dumpster or no dumpster. But there are several people I've been told as of late, tune in just to see you. So you are not just a favorite here. You are also a viewer favorite is what I'm told. So well, thank and you. I yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate it. It's always fun, you know, and it's fun to see other people's stuff. And yeah. of course, send in photos. You can do that at the Tampa Bay Morning Blend Facebook page. There's all kinds of cool stuff there, too. I like the contests on your Facebook page. <laughs> and you can put a photo right there. I will pick it up and it might be considered for dumpster or no dumpster. Are you ready, Natalie? I'm ready. And you know what? I can't enter those contests, but boy, do we have some good ones. You do. You do. <laughs> okay. Where are we getting? All right. So a tabloid tea tin, compressed, no waste, fine flavor tea tins. And I don't know if you're like this, but I have a tin in my purse always. Sometimes it's an old Altoids tin or an old tea tin because it's good to have just in case you have the little things in the bottom of your, of your purse and you can put them in the tin and then they don't get all over your purse. You're hunting for things in your pocketbook. Early 1900s lithograph tin, says it's superior tea. It's in pretty good shape. Okay. You know what? The only tin that I know of, I'm glad you said this was Altoids tin. I do. Yep. I have some of those actually. Yep. Um, is this something though that people collect, Dr. Lloyd? Yes. People collect lithograph tin pieces, particularly tins in wide numbers. Okay. Well, I think that alone, you said it was in good condition. It's something fun that we haven't seen. What the heck? I'm going to start things off with a no dumpster. Well, I probably tripped you up because it is uh, under the $50 limit. Uh, it's $30, but $30 oh, for a little tin like that is pretty pricey. But it does have some value, but it would make our dumpster for our ceiling. Okay, okay. Well, I do like that. And that's something we haven't talked about. So thank you yeah. to the viewer who sent that in. Yeah, that was good. That was good. I like them for the purse. <laughs> I like them for the purse. I like that one. Okay, what do we have for the uh, second item? To a bowling pin? Is that what that is? This is a Holly Hobby vase. Uh, and, you know, Holly Hobby, very, very popular in the 1970s. It does look like the shape of a bottle or a bowling pin. Um, it's, of course, made of ceramic. And then it has the transferware image of Holly Hobby. And she usually has a very nice little saying, you know, love the little things kind of thing um, from the 1970s. Very characteristic. A lot of people collect certain characters, including Holly Hobby. I was going to say, so I've, we're, we're addressing the brand or the marking with that, right? right? Right, exactly, exactly. So she's like Raggedy Ann, or she might be like, you know, uh, or like the Love Is characters of the 1970s. Pretty, pretty desirable. You know what? Hey, and Dr. Lori, too, I want to just say, you know, first I saw a bowling pin. You know, when we were broadcasting from our home, a little behind the scenes knowledge, my screen was right here. I can tell in the past two years, my eyesight is gone. You should see it. The screen is like super far away from me. So like every time I'm not on camera, I'm like doing one of these things, trying to see what it is. So it really is a guessing game at this point for me. Well, you know, it's hard because you're looking at a picture from a picture, right? <laughs> Somebody's giving you a photograph and most of our viewers are pretty good photographers. I got to give them credit. Are. But, but you know, so you have to just take another look. You can squint. We'll allow it. Okay. Thank you. So I apologize <laughs> for the goofy looks. Okay. We don't have much time left. So uh, I'm going to actually say no dumpster on this one though no dumpster it's 50 bucks perfect and you know what let's go to that third and final item today our last item is an oyster plate it's porcelain it has gold uh gilding or gold details um it dates to the early part of the 1900s and remember lots of people collect oyster plates i think we have talked about these on the show before and when you said the gold gilded you already you know you can say that g word with me anytime and i'm gonna say no dumpster am i right no dumpster no dumpster is absolutely right. $100 for the oyster plate. Nice. There we go. Nice. So we had a dumpster, which was still a cool item, and two no dumpsters. Good stuff today, Dr. Lori. Good stuff today and always. Thanks, Nat. 
Thank you. Great to see you. And as always, we were talking about our Facebook page. That's where you need to be sure and upload those photos so you can play along with us in Dumpster or No Dumpster next week. Take care, Lori. We'll see you then. Bye.